Good morning, welcome to my house. Today I wanted to do a vanity tour and show you my whole vanity area where I do my hair, my makeup, my skincare, my happy times, <laughs> all of that. And I just wanna do this really casual chit chat style as if you just knocked on my door to come over for a cup of coffee. You have your choice of mugs. <laughs> and I thought we could just take our coffee in there since I'm in the process of getting ready um, and show you what's on my vanity. So grab a mug plenty to choose from and let's do this. This is one of my favorite mugs. It's from Cars Land at Disneyland. I miss Disneyland so much. And as you see, I got a big old pot of coffee here for us. I've been chipping away at it this morning. So let's head to the bedroom. So here's our bedroom. Uh, this is our current layout, just so you can have some context. That whole corner over there is my beauty makeup station that I've really been enjoying. So that's what I'm gonna give you a tour of for today. First of all, we have my houseplant, Drax. <laughs> he's such a good boy. I've had him for a couple of years now and he's kind of moved around the apartment, but I thought he'd be happy in front of this window that gets a good amount of light. So that's, that's our boy Drax. And then here is the vanity. So this is very much like a DIY vanity that I cobbled together and I'm gonna tell you where everything is from. This chair is just from Amazon. It's one of those like super basic but kind of mid-century inspired chairs. It has a pink fake lamb's fur on it, I guess is what this is. Um, it adds that little touch of fabulousness and it makes the chair much softer and comfier. This is a very simple desk. So it's just this one little piece. It has one drawer and it's from Ikea. It's called the Mickey desk very affordable. One day I hope to have the vintage mid-century like gorgeous vanity furniture piece of my dreams but until then I have Ikea and let me tell you Ikea gets the job done. So think outside the box something like a desk totally works well for this. I'm gonna go over everything that's on the desktop. This is actually just a cheap plastic mirror. I, I think it was literally five dollars from Walmart but it actually looks really nice in that context. And I have it framed by these beautiful, sweet paintings my husband made me. So I think those kind of add the girly, fun, romantic whimsy that I like to have in this corner. Then this is a separate furniture piece. This is also from Ikea. It's called the Alex Nine Drawer. It has nine drawers. This furniture piece has served me in many ways over the years if you go back through my videos. But right now it's all my hair, makeup, skincare, nails, everything, storage, and I love having everything here in one place. I'm gonna take you in each drawer so you can see, but it's, when I'm sitting here, I feel like I'm just in like a cockpit of beauty. <laughs> and I have every tool within arm's reach and it's such a nice way to get ready in the morning or to get unready at night. I absolutely love it. And then let's go ahead and talk about what's up here. So I have two lipstick trays. This one is vintage. It's one of those really pretty old fashioned where it has a mirror on the bottom. And I have mostly my Besame lipsticks in this. In fact, they're all Besame. It's like my favorite brand. I have one from their Mickey Mouse collection. I have one from their Lucy collection. And these are all my favorite shades of red lipstick. <laughs> I have a lot of different shades of red lipstick. Then I have my Holy Grail candle of all time, Jo Malone Sweet Almond. Ugh, smells so good. I also have another Holy Grail candle, the Trish McAvoy Wild Blueberry Vanilla. This one smells amazing. And I have this little tiny coconut candle from our honeymoon that I've never lit, but I just like to have that too. Then this lipstick tray is kind of loosely organized by looks. I have two more Besame pink lipsticks. I have Charlotte Tilbury. I have, I think those are, what is that one? Gary Lane, Tom Ford. This whole row is Revlon lipsticks. This whole row is Olme lipsticks. These are probably my favorite lipsticks of all time but they're by Guerlain and they are so cool when they open up, if I can do it one-handed, the mirror pops open. Like, isn't that just so fabulous? I love these. I've shown these in an old favorites video or at least a couple times, I think. Have a couple of those and some more miscellaneous lipsticks. This big old apothecary jar is full of scarves and gloves, so just accessories that I might wanna pop on while I'm getting ready. And I just feel like it's kind of fabulous. Like it looks like you're in a candy store. It's full of all my bright scarves and things. And then this is a little bulletin board. 
I think it was from Target. It's got like a brass frame. And I just keep all of my brooches on here. So I love to wear a pin when I'm getting ready that like matches my outfit in some way. So that's a little assortment of brooches. This is a cheap Walmart lamp. And I have this really sweet sort of tassel wand with a bell. This is from my friend Liz's wedding and I thought these were so beautiful and such a sweet memory from her wedding. So I have that hanging on my lamp. Oh, and this is possibly my favorite thing that I own in the whole world. <laughs> I love this so much. My friend Lisa found this for me at a thrift store. I can't even believe her luck that she, that she stumbled on this and I can't believe my luck that she was so sweet to grab it for me. But it is a light up Cinderella castle at Christmas time. Oh my gosh, like, ah, it's just so cute. And it came with this little carriage and the carriage is decked out for Christmas. I don't know anything about this piece. I'm thinking maybe there was a whole set of Disney Christmas light up things at some point in history. I don't know, I've never heard of it before or since, but this is treasure. Like if our apartment was on fire, I would run in and get this. I absolutely love it so much. And it's such a pretty, it makes like a really pretty night light. It's just so beautiful. Okay. So I think we have covered the general area, give you a feel for that. And let's sit down, sip our coffee, and I'll show you some more. Some of you might be familiar with this view because I usually share on my Instagram when I'm sitting down here to do my spa night activities. I try and have like a dedicated spa night once a week. Lately I've been doing it every Monday night. Um, so this is really my happy place when I sit down here. And I wanna show you what these things are. I usually consider myself like a little more minimalistic in my decor, but I have to admit that this is maximalist. As you see, I just have so much stuff and there's so much more stuff that I would love to have out. Just, you know, little things that make me so happy and they just match the vibe of this area. But I'll show you the things that are out right now because I kind of rotate through it. So the first thing is this three-tiered cupcake tray. This is just from Amazon. It's so pretty in pink. And I just kind of had the thought that it would work well for toiletry skincare type items. So on the top, I have my current face mist du jour. This is the fresh vitamin nectar. I always like to have some kind of face mist. And if I get a chance, I'll sit down here during the day and just kind of mist myself and like have a little moment <laughs> because I try and make it so that when I sit down here, it's a break, like it's a little, me moment and if you have kids or if you work from home and so you don't really have a um a place in your house that's just for relaxing another reason i recommend having a little vanity space it's like just yours that when you sit down you're like ha ah, like this is my this is my moment so anyway throughout the day if i get a chance i will come spritz myself with a face mist you guys saw my recent skincare video hopefully so i'm not going to go into all these products but i have baby oil this is my daily SPF, Josie Marin. Look how cute this is. This is an I Love Lucy pencil sharpener from the Besame I Love Lucy collection. It's way too precious to me to ever actually sharpen a pencil in it because I don't want to get shavings and whatnot. So I just have it as like a little ornament hanging there right now. And then on this shelf, I have my daily perfume of the moment, which is Amazing Grace by Philosophy. I have a jade roller back there. I have some floss back there. I don't know if this is freaking anybody out, but I have a locket of my hair. I gave myself another quarantine haircut last night, so can you guys see in the mirror? Um, I feel like it turned out okay. <laughs> Definitely not ideal, but um, hair salons are really struggling here in California right now, and so I feel so bad for them, but we have to keep each other safe, so I cut my own hair and I saved this locket of it. My mom used to always have lockets of my baby hair like on her vanity area. And I thought that was so charming and romantic. So, um, and my baby hair was like this exact color. Now it needs some highlighting to be that exact color, but I thought that was kind of cute. So I saved this from when I cut it last night. As you can see, I cut a decent amount off. Um, and I tied it up and I thought I would give it to Nate as a gesture of my undying love. <laughs> That's a grand romantic gesture. So anyway, sorry if hair creeps you out. I know a lot of people are like that. Then I have this beautiful little Cinderella pill box. Isn't that so cute? Look at the back. Oh, I absolutely love it. I don't think, is there anything in here? 
Oh, I have a fortune cookie in here. It says, you are heading in the right direction. And I, I remember I got that when I was like nervous about a move we were making. So it was the right direction and it's kind of a cute little thing. I should put more little keepsakes in here. I just love this. That was from Nathaniel. And then I have a piece of sea glass that he found me. I think sea glass is so charming and mystical and special and I can never find it for myself. I've never found a piece of it, but he's good at it. So he found me this piece. Um, then I have the most beautiful compact ever to be compacted and it is this Snow White. So gorgeous, look at the detail on that. And this was a beautiful gift from a beautiful friend. So I can't bring myself to use it, but <laughs> I have it here just because I love to look at it. It's so pretty. And then the last thing on that shelf is my cold cream that I use for a cleanser and makeup remover. And then this bottom shelf is mostly skincare except I have my Cody Airspun face powder, oops, which we discussed recently. This is one of those things that I remember my grandma having on her vanity space and I was so fascinated as a kid, like what are these shapes? I just couldn't figure it out. I now realize I think that they are like powder puffs, but at the time as a child, I was just like, what is that? Are they trying to say that's how cotton looks when it's growing? Like I could not figure it out. So I was always really fascinated and I love that they still have the original packaging. It's just really cute. So I keep that out for that fond memory. And then everything else back here is a skincare item I think I've talked about in other videos. So for time's sake, we're not gonna go into it too much. I have a couple of face masks in the back and then the rest are serums and moisturizers and lip products and all that good stuff. Let's pause for coffee, shall we? Cheers. Oh, another thing, that, a question that I kind of wanted to answer was, you guys saw I put a lot of potions and tonics on my skin before bed and so you're asking how I don't get that all over my pillowcases. And my philosophy is to put makeup on as early as possible and in the day and then to take it off as early as possible in the day. So for me, I find that I feel so much better, so much more productive. It's such a pick me up, even though I am working from home and not seeing people, etc., to have makeup on. So if I wait too late in the day to do that, I start to drag and then I start to feel like it's a waste of makeup. Like, oh, I'm only gonna have it on for a few hours or whatever. That kind of thinking is like a tailspin for me. It's not good. So I prefer to look at it like I enjoy makeup. It makes me feel happy and it's worth it to do it. So for me, that means I need to do it like first thing before I can start to get lazy about it. <laughs> so that's why we're having this chat at like 8.30 in the morning and I'm, I haven't done my hair yet, but I have done my makeup. Then by the same token, I like to take it off and do my skincare as early as possible. So usually like right after dinner because well, first of all, I tend to get really exhausted at the end of the night and I can easily fall asleep on the couch while watching a movie. And then when I come to bed, I will be too tired to wash my face then. So it's better to do it before I hit that point of exhaustion. And also I think it's good to let your skin breathe and that way my lotions and things kind of absorb before I hit the pillow for the night in a couple hours. So that just to kind of answer that and to have another sip of coffee and then I will show you the rest. Okay, next to the cupcake stand, we have this little pink ashtray. This is kind of like an inside joke with myself, I guess. I showed you in my bedtime skincare video that this, I feel like this is kind of fabulous, like a 1920s like cigarette holder or something, whenever I use an eyelash wand. So as kind of like a joke, I have it in this little ashtray. And I like to keep it separate from my other makeup brushes because those have actual makeup on them. Whereas this is just for skincare use, so it just has like Vaseline on it. So that's why that is separate. And then I also have a little box of matches in here. Aren't these so precious? This is an absolutely fabulous tiki restaurant in Hollywood called Lono. Oh, I love it. I wish I could go there. I wonder if they're open right now. I don't know. But I just thought this matchbox was so cute and it's such an old fashioned thing to have matchboxes at restaurants. So I saved that and that is my little eyelash wand holder. Then moving on to this leaning tower of moisturizer, <laughs> as I like to think of it. It is on this little vintage cupcake stand and I just, I can't narrow it down. So I have, it's very precarious. I have a lot of moisturizer stacked here. This is my all time favorite scent of ever and they discontinued it. Victoria's Secret Vanilla Lace. I love it so much. So I have some left that I'm hoarding. And then Winter Candy Apple is my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. It smells delicious. 
Down here I have Skin Fix, which is good for like bumpy skin areas. I have Nivea Cream, which is very, very rich and hydrating like for your feet. I have Vaseline, and this is in the pretty um, anniversary packaging that they just came out with. Amazing Grace, that's my daily scent. And this oil from, oh, it's all gonna topple. I'm telling you, this thing is so precarious, it falls like once a day. The L'Occitane Supple Skin Oil. So all of these, I don't know, you guys know I take my moisturizing very seriously. All of these are in rotation, and that's why I have this leaning tower of moisturizers, and it's worth it to me <laughs> to kind of deal with it falling over occasionally. Okay, then I have a beauty blender, and it's in this really pretty little egg cup from the tar Target dollar spot. I have my daily makeup brushes, and these are also in a pretty cup, I think also from the dollar spot at Target. This mirror was one of the best investments I've ever made. I love it. It is magnifying. It lights up when your face gets near it. As you see, it's like a beautiful bright ring light. And I love that it magnifies. I love that it like senses when you lean in so it can light up at when you need it. And it makes doing, it's like a game changer for doing makeup and it's rechargeable. It's the Simple Human brand. It was an investment, but it has completely changed my makeup experience for the better and I've had it for years and I love it. I always try to have fresh flowers on my vanity, so I have this little bud vase just with a couple carnation buds in it right now. This is a little trash can. Actually, I don't know if it's meant to be a trash can, but I use it as a trash can. It's from Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. I thought it was really cute with these little Mickey ears, and it's just helpful for me to have trash that I can, you know, blot my lipstick or whatever and throw it in there, and if it's on the floor, my dog, Lolita, will get into it. <laughs> She loves to eat tissues for some awful reason, so that's why I have a desktop trash can instead. And then I have this candlestick. Isn't this gorgeous? It says, forget me not. It's from the thrift store. And as you know, I love to light candles. I think when you light a candle while you're getting ready or unready, it makes it so much more special. But if you've seen my candle tips video, you know you should really let a candle burn all the way to the edge when, whenever you're burning it. So. And you kind of have to have enough time to do it right. So this is a bigger candle. It needs to burn for longer. This is a smaller candle, so it only needs to burn, I think, maybe like an hour to get edge to edge. But obviously when I'm sitting down just to do my makeup really quick in the morning or something, I don't plan to sit here for an hour usually. So that's why I had the idea to just do a candle stick, because you can just burn those and blow them out. And I thought that was such a charming notion to like have a candlestick lit while I was doing my makeup. So I've been really enjoying that. Um, this is a cord taco for putting like your headphones in and like wrangling the cord, but I actually use it on this mirror. If I want it to stay lit up, I will just put that over the sensor. Sometimes, you know, you just want the light continuously. Okay, moving on to what's in the drawers. Don't judge me because I did not clean or organize in advance for this video. I just wanted it to be very authentic so you could see as if you just pop by, like I said, for coffee and we're just having a random morning chat. So also, I'm sorry, I'm still in my pajamas, <laughs> but here is my drawer of daily makeup. As you know, I'm obsessed with these cosmetic like spa headbands. This is another one from the Vintage Cosmetic Company. Isn't that so adorable with the pink stars on it? I love this one. I have quite a collection of these and I rotate through them. And here's my daily makeup and it's in a silverware organizer. I think I got this at Home Goods. if I can. I'm obviously gonna try to link everything we've discussed that I can find, but it's a lot and not all of it is from online, so I'll do what I can. But this is the makeup I'm currently using on a daily basis. In the back I have some like setting sprays that I don't really use that often. This row is my favorite bronzer, blushes, a couple of singular <laughs> eyeshadows. This tray is all eyeliners. This section is all mascaras. I like to have a few because I like to have a drier one and then a more recent one to kind of layer. And this is my Holy Grail Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Then this one is lipsticks that were maybe just didn't fit in my um, organizers up here, or in this case, too ugly to go in there. But this is actually one of my favorite red lipsticks. It's It Cosmetics It Girl. I just don't know why the tube has done this. It's gross. But anyway, I have some really cute ones. Look at this Marilyn Monroe one by Hard Candy, MAC. Anyway, these are extra lip products that I like to have on hand as well. 
Over here I have my eyeshadow palette of the moment, which is from the I Love Lucy collection. So fabulous. Oh, it has makeup on it. Uh-oh. I want to keep it clean. And underneath that I have my foundations that I like to kind of cycle through. I have some extra powder by Besame. And then this section is just kind of random tools. Um, I have a couple lighters. I got these lighters that had makeup or nail polish on them. I thought that was cute for my vanity. For lighting candles, I have tweezers, nail glue, eyebrow razor, just kind of a random assortment of tools there. And then on this side, my cellar water toner calamine lotion. If you saw my evening skincare, you know what I use that for. Um, deodorant, Q-tips, cotton pads, and that is it for that drawer. Then we have these nine drawers that I would love to take you for a quick spin through. So the top one, this is all nails. So I have all of my nail polishes. Again, I'm using a silverware tray to organize it. Nail polishes, mostly in pinks, reds, and Cinderella blue. And nail polish remover. I have some nail tools and things in the other little cups. And then I have some backups of my favorite nails. You know, since quarantine started, I've been doing my own manicures. And these are static nails, press-on nails. And I think they are like salon quality. I've been so thrilled with them. They're not cheap, but if you're paying LA nail salon prices, they are still a way better deal than getting your nails done and I don't even have that option right now. So I have a few sets that I haven't used yet. I'm so excited for those. And then after I use a set, there's always some nails that I didn't use because they didn't fit perfectly. And what I do is put them in a baggie with the name of the color. And if also when I take them off, if there's any in good enough condition to reuse, I'll add them to that bag of that color. And then hopefully I can get future manicures out of them by using the other sizes. Like I pick the sizes that work best for me, obviously. And then if I get desperate, I can use the other sizes. So that's my backup manicures. This is a pedicure set I'm so excited to bust into tonight. And that's all nail stuff. Next drawer is accessories. I have this non-slip liner in a lot of these drawers and it's really helpful because things really don't move around too much. But this is just watch bands, pretty hair clips, bangles, earrings, rings, things like that. This tray is from the thrift store. Just kind of pretty little things that I might want to add when I'm getting dressed. Next drawer is all cotton. <laughs> so these are my holy grail cotton squares from Walgreens. They're the premium brand and I don't go to Walgreens that much. In fact, the only reason I go to Walgreens is for these cotton squares. Oh, I was getting a call but it stopped. And so when I do go, I like to stock up on them. I also have their premium cotton balls. And then these are from Daiso, my pointy Q-tips I like to use. So that's my backup reserves. Then in here, this is just a jumble of backup products or products that I am i don't use that often, but I like to have on hand things that I'm like hoarding for when I run out of and I need to replace them. That's literally a jumble of products there. Moving down to the second half, the next three drawers are all hair products or hair items. So these are my various potions for my hair. Um, I've gone over a lot of these in favorites videos, so we won't dive into that too much right now. This one is clips. I have duckbill clips, bobby pins, alligator clips, um, that's a big mirror. In this hard case, I have sponge roller curlers, you know, like these things. And I have a few smaller sized ones in the back and some setting spray. And that is for curling. By the way, if you saw my old closet organization video, I had labeled all of these with just printer paper and double-sided tape. And I took the labels off when I repurposed this shelves, but it's left this little mark. So I got it off of the first two ones pretty easily. I was using that Gooby Gone, you know, that like oil that you can use. Um, but I didn't do the rest of these yet. So that's why you're seeing that. Okay. The next drawer is my hair tools. So I have my blow dryer. This thing I love so much. It's by the T3 brand. It's so beautiful. I always say it looks like a pink rocket ship. Like it's just so pretty. Oh, it's kind of dusty though. Don't look at that. <laughs> And then I have my curling iron, my heat protecting glove. This little basket is full of hair brushes and tools and a couple of little handheld mirrors. 
And then the last two drawers are more makeup because I love me some makeup. So I have extra palettes, um, extra products that I like to kind of use on a weekly basis, but not a daily basis. So that's why they're in these side drawers. And if there's something that I do want to use more, I will take it out of here and put it in my daily drawer to kind of remind myself to use it. I have some extra brushes down here. And that's pretty much the system. Oh, down here I also have an extension cord. Cute pink one, extension bar. <laughs> and that makes it really easy when I'm doing my hair. I can just plug in my hair tools right at my feet and um, do my hair without having to move an inch while I'm sitting right here at my vanity. So that's the whole overview of everything. Oh, I don't think I actually ever talked about this. This is just a mirrored tray. I can't remember where I got it. I think Home Goods. It has been all around my house in different decorating purposes. But I would love to have like a mirrored vanity one day, although I'm sure that they get so smudgy because this gets so smudgy. But this is kind of my tribute to like imagining I had a mirrored furniture. But I think that's adds a little touch of glamour and it also hides the fact that this has some like chips on it and like old nail polish stains and things so you know gotta make do with what you have and that's why that's here for now in my opinion this vanity is missing one key thing something that all vanities should have that makes it just that much more special and romantic and whimsical like i keep saying i think that's kind of the vibe that I like to go for so that when I sit down here I feel sort of whisked away to let me try and find light so you can see me better um I feel sort of like I'm just whisked away to a more calm slow place than the everyday craziness so um I like to add those little whimsical touches and this one I think every girl should have on her vanity and that's a kiss mark on the mirror. So let's do that together. I thought it would be cute because then when you're watching future videos and you see the kiss mark on my mirror, you'll know you were here for you shared that kiss. <laughs> so this is the Besame red lipstick I'm wearing today. It's part of the I Love Lucy collection. I shared more about this on my Instagram. So head over there please if you haven't yet. It's the Love That Redhead shade and it's just so pretty. So I'm gonna really smear it on so that I can leave a good kiss mark. I love the shape of these Besame lipsticks. You can use the flat side on the lip and then you can use like the sharp corner as a sort of like a liner. Okay, hopefully that's enough caked on lipstick to do a good smooch mark. Mm -hmm. Aww, it's a cute one. See if you can see it. Didn't that turn out cute? <laughs> it's like a lot of lower lip. <laughs> I just think kiss marks make everything more fun and glamorous. But all that said, I think you've had a very thorough vanity tour. I know you've been very curious about what goes on in my little corner. I know my husband's very curious because <laughs> I'm always up to something. He's like, thinks I'm like a little chemist over here, like mixing things and doing potions and whatnot, but I just really feel like it's so important to have a, a little corner, a room of one's own, that um, even if it's just a little corner or a little nook where you can kind of treat yourself. And as you know, I'm a huge advocate of that. When we used to live in a studio apartment, I used my work desk as my vanity that had like, all the drawers were full of like pens and pencils and like work things. And then one drawer had my makeup and skincare in it. And I would just like, when I sat down there, I would try to shift gears and feel like, okay, it's me time. And then, okay, it's work time, you know? So even if you live in a dorm or a room at your parents' house or a basement or something, you can still make a little space for yourself. I sometimes comfort myself with the thought that even if we had to live in a cardboard box, which living in Los Angeles is a very real possibility, <laughs> um, I could still sweep it out and make it cute and have like a little section you know that is like my me corner i don't know that is such a weird thought to share with the world but i'm just saying no matter what your situation try to make a physical spot where when you're there you can kind of have that mental shift that energetic shift take a deep breath and slow down maybe sip some coffee and do things that are just for yourself for your soul to fill up your own cup so you can fill others 
and it's so important in this crazy stressful year we're having so if you're like me and you love makeup and you love skincare and you kind of feel recharged by those things I highly recommend a vanity setup anyway I don't want to go on and on and on after we've already had this extensive tour but the point is I hope you find a way to treat yourself in whatever way makes your soul sing <laughs> you know I get really cheesy sometimes but I want you to have that romance and whimsy in your life and you know you can charm and seduce yourself because you deserve it and I just want the absolute best for you guys and I love you and thank you for stopping by for a little coffee chat a little vanity tour that was really fun and I think I'd like to do a couple more videos on this topic if you're not sick of it yet like I would like to take you through my spa night routine um, and a vintage spa night routine because it's so funny and interesting to see how that has changed over the years um, so I'd like to do that pretty soon let me know if you're if you're not too sick of this topic and thank you for joining and don't forget to hit subscribe don't forget to find me on Instagram don't forget to say hi in the comments and I will talk to you soon bye